Today's video is on sharing a ratio. I love sharing ratio questions um, because uh, you can do it in a bar model and it makes it so much more straightforward than trying to figure out what the share in the ratio is. Okay, so this is how I would set this up. So let's read the question. Beth and Lily share 25 bananas in the ratio four to five. How many bananas does Beth get? Okay, so for every four parts, Okay, the other person gets one. Okay, now you have to figure out whose is who. They always go in the same order. So I know that if it's uh, Beth and Lily, so Beth is the four, because that's the first number, and Lily's is the one. So for every one Lily gets, Beth gets four. So you can show this in a bar model, okay? So let's draw our bar out. Okay, so Beth gets four. So one, two, three, four here, and then there's one left over for Lily. So I'm gonna do Beth in blue. So this is Beth's part, and Lily is gonna be pink, and Lily gets one part. So that's our ratio, okay, in a bar model. So she's got four parts, she's got one. So there are five parts all together, okay? Now it says that there are 25 bananas in total. So that means this whole bar model represents 25. Now there are five parts to this bar model. So the calculation that you would need to do here is 25 shared by five, which is five. So each one of these bars represents five bananas. Okay, so now we've calculated that, I can easily get to the answer. So it tells me how many bananas does Beth get? Well, Beth gets four parts, so she's got four fives. So Beth equals four times five, which is 20. So she gets 20 bananas, nice and straightforward. Okay, so that's how you would share an amount in a ratio. The next question is slightly different. Okay, it says Craig and Leah share dice in the ratio three to one. If Leah gets 16, how many dice does Craig get? Okay, so this time there's an amount given to a certain person. Okay, so if we draw this out in a bar model, so we've got Craig and Leah, and it's going to work in exactly the same way. So three to one. Okay, so we draw out our bar. So Craig gets three parts, so one, two, three, and Lee gets the leftover part. So Craig can be blue. So this is Craig, and Leah gets one part. Okay, what we're told this time is Leah gets 16. Okay, so if her bar represents 16, that means each part is going to represent 16 because they're all worth the same amount, okay? So if Craig, has three parts, he gets three lots of 16. Okay, so Craig is 16 times three. So that's, um, so let's do that properly. 16 times three, that's 18. Three ones are three, one more is four, so 48. So therefore, Craig gets 48. You have got the questions now.